They found Nessie. She's up there. Please, yes, or. I mean, what do you want for nothing? I think this is brilliant for nothing. This is a giant ground sloth. We are here. We've arrived at the uh, Natural History Museum, as you see behind me. So we're going to go in there and we're going to check things out and you're going to come with us. Right, so we've arrived here in Natural History Museum, so we've just popped to the loo quickly. So the loo is if you're interested, because um, you might have been travelling a long way to get here. Like, it took us about an hour and 20 minutes because of traffic and stuff like that. So you come through the main entrance and then you just head towards the back of the hall. And then on the right hand side, um, you just see the loo's behind me just there. That's where they are, so Sophie's just gone for the loo. And, um, the, there's a cafeteria just around there, so we might have a little look in there in a little while to see what they've got going on in there. Um, but other than that, I'm going to take a look around and show you as we see it. Apparently at more than four and a half billion years old, um, this gem-filled meteorite dates from the, from the very down of our solar system, the very dawn of our solar system, rather, apparently. Not so sure on that one. What's that there? So it's another rock of some sort. This being the Natural History Museum, there's probably a lot of rocks and bits and pieces like that. But so you can see it's really busy today as well. And this blue whale skeleton is massive. Very cool. We're gonna have to get a picture of that before we go. Green lizards. Mosasaur. You know that dinosaur from the Jurassic Park, Jack, that ate the um, Indominus Rex? Apparently that's its skeleton. It what? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, it did, didn't it? Plesiosaurs soils up there. So apparently that's Loch. That's what they've got in. Um, they're saying that's what they've got in Loch Ness, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's that's what it is. A plesiosaur. The found Nessie. She's up there. Plesiosaur. Apparently there is a T-Rex restaurant where it's all like. It's the menu just there. If you want to have a look, you just scan that code. That's what it looks like in there. So it looks like a quick service. I don't actually know what this is. But it's called. Let's go and see what we can find what this is called. Because it's massive. What's this called then, Jack? It's a this. Is a giant ground sloth. Mainly found in South America. Well, it was. Not anymore. <laughs> this big vulture. Look. All kinds of. Birds. Oh, look, there's a dodo. Yeah, bald eagle. That's right. And then just here, there's a, there's a dodo. So this one, this one, this one was a, a flightless bird. Oh, that's a dodo as well. So it's off Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Part on Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so they do have um, little exhibits in the museum itself that you ha it's like a supplementary. So I think it's 1750 and adult. Um, this one is called the Titanosaur 
life as the biggest dinosaur. I think you can go through there and learn a little bit about that. So the museum itself is sort of laid out in this flow where you just walk around it and there's all sorts of different bits and pieces. So we just went through the birds. I um, don't know what's coming up next. Oh, Jurassic Park shop. Out. Oh, is that? Is it the way out? Way out and toilets, coffee house. Oh, okay. So anyway, it just walks all the way through and um, you just follow it around. And uh, yeah, it's all sorts of different bits and pieces. Okay. So just here, it's like a big planet or something. Uh, there's all sorts of geology rocks here. where you go up the different levels of star constellations on the walls just there. I'll probably go up there and have a look. Jack, can you see what that is? What kind of dinosaur is that? Can you tell me? Stegosaurus! That's right, a stegosaurus. Well, it's not that big, is it? Oh, it's going to be bigger than that. Okay, so we stopped at the cafe to get a little drink. Uh, the part where the planet was, it was actually really nice and cool, so I think the aircon's working in there, so that's good. Um, let me just give you a little look around this little cafe in bit near it. There's all sorts of bits and pieces. I'm not sure on the prices yet, but we'll see. So really nice cold drinks there. You can get all sorts of different coffees there. Uh, they just make them there. Got like these kids' meals as well, which are quite cool. And cakes. A bit of ice cream as well, I think. Brownies there and Rocky Road. Nice little bits and pieces. They quite look quite nice there. Got some lasagnas, bits and pieces like that, rice. Uh, what else do they do? Looks like they've got sandwiches, bits and pieces like that some salad and then you pay at the end over here. It's a marlin or a sailfish, uh, apparently the fastest fish in the world and it looks like this. Boom. What fish is this Jack? Swordfish? Massive. So just about to go down to dinosaurs. Shop. I see the other side of the dinosaur shop. So it could have gone straight through the dinosaur shop and gone through this bit. Right, that's it, exit only. It's a big chicken. It's a dinosaur. You reckon? I don't know, let's have a look. Are they reptiles? It's got some nice, it's got some nice art everywhere in here, hasn't it? Right, so how are you coping being that you're eight months pregnant in this hot environment called a museum? Um, all right. All right, yeah? cold iced latte, caramel. Which yeah. Going down really well. It's going down nice. Very, very humid. Yeah. Oh, look at these giant skulls here, look. So, look at these giant skulls. It does. So you've got Tricephalosaurus, T-Rex and Mochleotus. Um, I'm going to make them up just like the history people make them up. So, why not? Latin's too, Latin's too silly for me to repeat, so we're not going to. Look at this. It's a real dinosaur. This you can look. It's a real dinosaur, boys. Look. I mean, 
mean, what do you want for nothing? I think this is brilliant for nothing. We haven't paid um, to come to the Natural History Museum. It is free, so it's a free day out. Just providing you get there. So we just saw uh, animatronic T-Rex, it looked pretty good. You got to see that just in the footage just before. And then we're going to walk around to the next bit. You've got to keep looking up, Jack. Look, there's little, little um, raptors. I think they're raptors. Yeah. And these are like dinosaur eggs, look. It's easy, huh? Yeah. Oh. A little dinosaur nest there. It's a big tooth. Oh, it's a hung. <laughs> Place with all the stuff. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, bow headed whale up there. That is a blue whale. Jack, what kind of whale is that? Jack, what kind of whale is that? A blue whale, that's right. Oh, that's a... Good, Charlie. Yeah. Charlie, is it good? Like the yeah. Jack, you enjoying? You enjoying it, Jack? Don't go around now. It's a what? Oh yeah, look. So we've just come out of the um, Natural History Museum. Um, we've been hit by a wind tunnel. We've been hit by wind. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of wind. Which is actually really nice because it was so hot in there. I know, you, you always <laughs> I'm always say saying it's hot. It's hot, but, but it, it was, was very really hot. hot. There was no air con at all. And outside, I think today is going to be 32, 33. Yeah. It's very warm. Yeah, so, so we decided to cut that a little bit short. Um, the boys wanted to see the dinosaurs and like the reptiles and sea life and stuff so that's what we've yeah. done and then uh, now we're going to try and go to the science museum I yeah think. so word of advice don't come on a really hot day because air conditioning does not work does, doesn't work <laughs> or doesn't exist one or the other um, but yeah you can see the nice beautiful building behind yeah, us uh, really hot, doesn't it? gargoyles up there and stuff looks pretty cool but yeah Look, so now we're going to check out the science museum i think and see what that's all about and we might go in there so bye <laughs>